Hi guys, I'm Jamal Stone. I'm Chantal Aids. We are on our way to Comic Con 2014, our very own custom made, donated by Chevy, Uber car with the Sonic the Hedgehog theme. Also, we have our superhero stuff, Batman shirts on. Chantal, are you excited? I'm uber excited! There's cosplayers, celebrities. Oh my god, Madame Tussauds, they have a little surprise. I can't wait to see it. Marvel's got some announcements. We're gonna see a whole bunch of panels. I'm excited. I can't wait. You ready to go with that? I think this is going to be uber awesome. Let's go. Let's go. What can you tell us about what's coming up in the show? I know everything's usually top secret, but what, what can you give us? Um, <laughs> this is where I need to be careful. Um, no, you don't. <laughs> um, the good thing about this show is uh, we go off on so many different levels. We have a bit of comedy, a bit of action, a bit of adventure, a little bit of romance. Um, I feel like the best thing about this show as you go along uh, is you're going to see everyone kind of thrown into these crazy scenarios where we've previously mentioned, uh, you know, Minotaurs and Santa and things like that. And, and, you know, while some of them are really light and cordial, there's some stuff that's pretty full on and, and um, it, it can get emotional at times and things like that. So. As we go through the series, I think you're going to find uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, um, but you're also going to have very big vested interest, and um, yeah, a lot of lot of running, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of escaping things just in time, and, and yeah, that was great. Did you were you familiar with the mythology of the whole librarian and the movies or anything? I had no idea. I actually only watched the movies uh, after I booked the gig uh, just to get a sense of what it was like. Um, I think it's a cool cool universe that they've created uh if i um had to describe it as anything i'd say it's a bit of a mold between a bit of doctor who a bit of indiana um yeah and a bit of the mummy as well so it's kind of it's it's a cool mix i'm i'm pretty stoked yeah uh, what do you think your character brings to the story he's um as i mentioned he's trouble he's not a good dude <laughs> yeah he's, he's a bad guy i wouldn't be friends with him um <laughs> but um he uh what he brings, he brings the side, um, sometimes to get some stuff done, uh, you need to kind of go outside your moral boundaries, and I think that's what Ezekiel represents. He, he represents uh, doing things uh, as a means to an end, and um, you know, he, he doesn't see obviously the, the problems with doing what he does, but um, the rest of the group does, and I think eventually you'll see, he finds a greater sense of purpose with everything uh, that he goes through, and um, yeah, it kind of, Ezekiel goes through a very big change, so um, yeah, I think he brings uh, a bit of a, a bit of a curve, a bit of an arc, but also um, a bit of trouble. There's n nothing wrong with trouble. So a lot of a lot of great actors in the cast. You've got a lot of big set pieces, yeah. action, like you said, green screen. I'm assuming stuff like that. What's yeah. the atmosphere like on set? Is it all work and no play? Is it all play no work? It, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of both. It's kind of um, Noah's a professional, mm -hmm. so when Noah was around, it was just amazing for me to for, for my first project to kind of watch and observe and learn someone like Noah Wiley uh, if I end up half as good of the actor as he is one day I'd be I'd be stoked and uh, and even better if I was as good of a person as he was I mean he's he's amazing um, and then once we all kind of got to know each other uh, we all kind of it, it became very uh, friendly it became like rocking up to work was you know you'd walk in high-fiving everyone kissing the babies it was a lot of fun everyone became a family and um, yeah, I, um, I think the mood was very much, let's have some fun, because how can you not when you're being chased by things and, and uh, you know, all these monsters and creatures. But um, at the same time, when it came down to it, um, I made sure that for my very, 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 very first project, I wanted to be as professional as I possibly could be. But uh, I definitely uh, enjoyed it as well. Yeah, it was good fun. Great balance. Cool. Yeah. Do you get to use your accent on the show? Yes. All right. That's... Um, that, that was kind of a trip. I, I, I auditioned with my Melbourne, uh, from Melbourne, with my Australian accent. And uh, yeah, I, um, I didn't think they would pick it up. I wasn't sure if the American uh, uh, audiences would like my accent or even understand me. I think it just shows how multicultural uh, our, our planet is and, and I'm, all for, I'm all for mixing. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Hello. So that has been introduced to America on the film, on television. Yeah, yeah. I mean, besides acting, or as in within the world. As acting, I mean, I, I 
I think for me, what happened was uh, I did a TV show back home called Neighbours, which obviously there's a big, a lot of stars come through yep. there. Margot Robbie, Liam Hemsworth. Um, so after that, for the most part, I, I would say like for 80 to 90% of actors on that, once you do that, that's like bang, acting retirement, you're done and dusted, stick a fork in it, you're done. Um, but uh, for me, when it once it finished, uh, my manager over there actually, there in the uh, blazer, very good looking man, he, uh, <laughs> <He's hiding there. laughs> he, uh, he got in touch with me and um, I ended up signing with him and I decided, you know, maybe I'll put university and my retail jobs on hold for a bit and we'll give this acting thing a big swing. And, here I am, uh, just turned 21, and I'm, you know, I've got my own show, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty amped. Um, as far as, and then for me to answer your question, uh, coming up here really confirmed for me that acting is exactly what I wanted to do. Um, is it the only thing? I wouldn't say so. Um, I, w I, I feel like there's a lot of time to kind of learn new things, and I'm always in, in, up for trying things and things like that. So um, yeah, I mean, uh, acting, but acting is definitely the uh, the backbone of what I want to do. And, and as far as projects go, I mean. This is such a good comedy. I feel like my next thing, uh, fingers crossed I get a next thing. Um, it'd be cool to do the American accent, which I think would show off a bit of versatility, but um, it'd also be cool to do something serious, um, just in contrast with, to something like this, because comedy's so fun and, you know, um, I, I feel like, you know, I want to see see the entire kind of landscape of it. I don't, I don't really want to pigeonhole myself as a, you know, uh, comedic actor. Not that I think I'm that funny anyway, but yeah. <laughs>